What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel and to this exploration of Ripex Deep Create, the latest plugin from Hit and Mix. And <laughs> this is a fascinating plugin. I'm in awe that such technology exists. You'll see why I say that, but in a nutshell, this analyzes your music, rips it into various layers, which is what RipX is known for. But with Decreate, you have so much flexibility in terms of actually manipulating those parts. As with any version of RipX, you add your song and it rips it. In this case, I have my own song with Chase 7. It's called Glass. And I already ripped it, and as you can see, it spliced it up into different, different layers. That's all fine and good. Let's have a listen to the beginning of this, and I'm going to show you what you can do, uh, for instance, with the guitar layer. But let's just listen to this intro. Let's solo the guitar. And look at what I can do. For instance, here, I can draw different a different pitch to the guitar. <laughs> so it goes up, I can have this lower one go down. Like that. And I can even... I can create some interesting textures by changing the chord here at the end. And then I can add some effects to this. So I'm going to select all of these notes and apply, let's say, reverb vibrato combo. Then what I can do is actually apply a different sound to this instrument itself. So for instance, I'm gonna go to sound and then select synthetic and I can listen to this in real time. I can play around with this fader here. <laughs> That's insane. Uh, but the level has also dropped, so I'm gonna raise the level of this a bit. So it completely changes the vibe of this and the reason why I showed you that is you sometimes write songs and you're not entirely sure if that's the route they should go or if you're a producer you get demos and they have something there that you like but you might like the melodic idea or the sound of it but might want to change the note or the other way around. This actually lets you do that and you can add your own samples to have them triggered by the actual note information here and it's amazing what deep create can do and to me this is kind of the ideal tool when writing new songs trying out ideas or getting something already kind of half baked but then exploring options without being too destructive with the original material because sometimes you get songs from people and they're really in love with that idea but with a specific sound or a specific set of notes and with something like this you can go in and be a bit more surgical with it but not so surgical that you remove the essence of what they loved about it. This song is a bit of a vibe. So for instance, on the drum, I can just go here and you'll see that the snares are now highlighted. They're pretty dry. So what I can actually do is add some delay to this. And again, you'll see it in real time. That sounds cool. So that's one idea that would have been pretty difficult to do if I got a demo and I didn't want to redo the whole drum section. If the artist really liked that original idea, that original sample, the original sound of that snare drum, but it was within a an already exported kind of two bus version of their song, 
then I would be a bit stuck. I could go around it, but I would have to add my own samples, my own delays, but with something like this, you have the sample and you just add delay to it. We could also add a bit of panning. And what you can do is actually play around with this. So once you select an effect here and apply it, you can double click on this region here and then actually play around with the positioning of, in this case, each of these hits in the stereo field. That's pretty insane. And then the most incredible thing that you can do is actually play around with the vocal melody and still have it be the voice. So instead of you having to re-record something if if you think that a specific melodic idea is gonna be better for that song, you can actually go in and modify the vocal line with the artist's voice. So let's see what we can do here at the beginning. So let's solo the vocal. So the melody starts there and what I want to do is kind of make a loop of this. So what I want to do here is actually split it and finally and open my. So I'm going to take this section here and actually move it. I'm going to do the same for this region here, I'm going to split it there. And again, I'm going to brazen. <laughs> okay, so I modified that part of the vocal. Let's listen to it in context. So I did that without actually having access to the session. That is incredibly powerful. Already I, I kind of have ideas of how this song could have gone a different route if I had something like Deep Create to help me out here. But this only scratches the surface. You can do so many incredible things here. You can even create your own combos, so to speak. So uh, you have both level and stereo panning. You can add this to something, save it. You can even move things around. It's so easy to customize this. So it works specifically for your needs. You can expand this, you can, uh, and actually expanding it does prove to be quite useful because you can then have a larger spectrum here to move all of these parameters. You're literally not bound by any UI decision and every one of these things can be moved around. And as I said, you can create your own combinations of several of these effects <laughs> maybe you really like that and yeah you can save it and as you see you have some presets here that incorporate some of these modules here into combo and you can create your unique combos and uh, explore all of the parameters in the song that's already done but it breaks it down and then you can modify things that have already been recorded and without access to the actual source file, the, the session, the DAW session or whatever. This is an invaluable tool to just be creative and try stuff out and manipulate things that up until this point would have been impossible to manipulate. So I would definitely recommend giving RipX a try, get the trial version, explore what you can do if it's the software for you. Let me know what you think about the video in the comments below and thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.